Hey guys, this is Manav from Civil Center and welcome all of you to the ninth video on the video tutorial series on how to make a beam column plan in AutoCAD. So friends, in the previous video we had made the beam column plan at the plinth level which is also the plain beam column plan. So now we'll make the title box and also proceed forward for printing in the upcoming videos. So let's get started. So first of all we need to print this in an A4 format. So we'll just select a rectangle here and we'll specify a size, we'll click on anywhere and then we'll specify the size of the A4 sheet which is 210 into 297 mm. So this is the rectangle. So let us give it an offset of say 5 mm and then we'll just create the inner boundaries. So for making the title box, now we'll make the title box. For making the title box, it should be taken into care that it doesn't occupy more than 10% of the area. So let us first explode it. We yeah, press EX then select the option explode, we'll still explode this and enter. So this area has been exploded into four different lines. Now we'll take an offset of say 30 mm. So we'll take an offset from this, that is 30 mm. This portion will make the title box. Now you can make the divisions in the title box as per your preference. So now let us create some divisions. First of all I'll take a line here so that it will be helpful for taking my offsets now I'll take an offset of say 18.4 and then 39.1 and then we can take an offset of 43.3 and then 27.9 and just take the last offset of 18.5 so we have created some divisions here for our title box now we'll scale it accordingly so that we'll see whether this actual beam column plan can be accommodated in this so let us first scale it in 1 is to 75 which we had assumed earlier let us first select this point and scale it 75 now we'll see whether this plan will be accommodated here just move it and select this point on a point for moving it let us see no it can't be accommodated here so we'll simply press ctrl plus z so it has returned to its original size now we'll just simply scale it to 200 select this point and then we'll scale it factor of 1 is 200 now it will definitely accommodate this plan we'll just select this and then we'll move this so that it is suitable so yes the plan has been moved now as you can see the beam column plan has come in our A4 sheet so now we need to create some more divisions here and complete our title box so for that we can simply divide this into three parts let's say we can divide this into three parts so we can take the lines here and the line will take so you can see the node option the node option we are taking this so here we have divided this into three parts and this line let us say we want to divide this line into two parts so we'll again use the divide option and then we'll just divide this into two segments and we'll take a line again now this portion also will create a segment here let us first create a segment here from this center to center and then again we want this center so let us take a line here and then from its center we'll create a division here just delete the extra line so I am creating some divisions because I need to insert some text here I can simply extend this let us press EX and then enter 
and then we'll select this one then enter and then we'll select these lines which we want to extend so we have extended these lines here so now we can put some text here we'll put uh, our symbol of representing our directions here so you can download this from the internet or you can make this yourself we have already made one for us so we'll simply copy this so this shows the directions of the plot so it is a south facing plot basically so here we can paste our text so we'll go to our home and take a multi-line text and then just select a box here we'll just keep our project here keep project here and we'll copy this just switch on the auth key so this project of a residential building so we'll write here residential building here we can copy it again here we can put our client name so here we we put the name of the client Mr. Sanjay Das so you put the name of this client here move it little bit ok now we put the project and the name of the client so we'll simply copy this from here to here and we'll just move it a bit now we'll write the so what is it it is the plinth beam column plan and we'll also mention the built up area build up area so the built up area will be in square meters should just move this properly so now we can do the remaining works copy this so here we will write the drawing number so it is basically the drawing number of a particular project which you can give here drawing number and then here you can mention the serial number So we'll complete this title box in the upcoming video. So see you there. Bye bye.